Hey guys, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. We got to the cauldron, and now we're gonna head in. So let's do it. Oh, hey. What's up? Oh, okay. So we gotta... Yeah, will you now? Holy crap. Woo. Here we go. Oh, I love how the coffins actually hit the enemies and stuff. Oh my god, this is so loud. <laughs> what the hell? Ghoul? Oh no, that's armor. Did all my ghouls die already? Holy crap. They kind of suck. <laughs> the tears be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Okay, your shaman's craft. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work, if your name is any indication. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? You're different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Carl. Pup it is, then. <laughs> As you will. Matters not to me. <laughs> See, I, I love Death. He's he's really snarky and kind of an asshole, you know, for the Grim Reaper. He's kind of a dick. But uh, anyway, fire the mountain. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Of course you will. Okay. So, he'll open it on up for you, but the enemies here drop some stuff, so... Ooh, gauntlets! Yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, and hey, armor. The first piece of actual armor. So there we go. It's like a little harness. So, yeah. Uh, here we go. So... Fist weapons, or, me well, let's see here. I believe they call them melee weapons, but they're basically like fist weapons. Uh, let's see here. These are gauntlets, I think. Yeah, they're gauntlets. Now, they are vastly weaker than all the other big weapons, but they are way better, in my opinion. Because, check this out. You remember how the sides attack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? 1, 2, 3. You see that? <laughs> like, watch. It's so fast. Oh my god, I love them to death. They are my favorite weapons in the game. I'm going to be using them a lot. So, yeah. Uh, fist we- Ooh, hey, there's a chest over here. I've never gotten this one, I don't think. Or maybe I did. I probably did. But we'll open it up and see what we get. Whoop. What do we got? Defense and guilt found. Didn't I just get some blue boots? Whatever, I'll take e. I'll take these. Because, I'll take e. Um, The other thing that's really nice is that all this gear that you're finding, you can just sell it. Just sell it, get money, buy new stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the first dungeon of the game. Oh, and also, you see the colors in here? How it's all, like, really kind of... I want to say it's stylized, but it's all, like... Pale red, pale grayish red, and it's all it looks all washed out and ugly and stuff. I don't, yeah, I don't like the colors. Like it's just, it's not that it looks bad. It's just unappealing to look at. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that the game has bad I'm not trying to say that the game has bad graphics. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the colors in these areas just look so dull and ugly and gray and flech. 
And yes, it's for a purpose. There is a reason for it. It's just... Ugh. Ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> and I know the reason. I know the reason. And it's a perfectly fine reason, but... Ugh. Where are you going? Don't go over the way. Boom. Ow. Don't do that. I'm gonna punch you. So... The downside to using uh, fist weapons or melee weapons or whatever, or light weapons, I'll just call them melee weapons. The problem with using melee weapons is they're obviously lighter hits, so they don't really stagger as often. And these ones aren't good. There's one particular melee weapon that is probably the best weapon in the game, and that's not a joke. It's probably the best weapon in the game, and I highly recommend using it once you get it. But, um, for now, for now it's up to you. But later on, there's a weapon that you, that you basically need to use. There's no excuse to not use it. So, let's go ahead and keep opening these chests here. Hey, claws. And they're not as strong as the gauntlets. Okay, so. Ugh. So now these are uh, shadow bombs, if I remember right. Uh, they're basically the exact same thing as the bombs in uh, Darksiders 1, except when you pick some of these up, they don't automatically blow up. Like this one, you can just carry it around as long as you want. So, yeah, you can just carry it around. And then as soon as you throw it, boom, now it will explode. So, you can throw it on surfaces, you can throw it on enemies, you can throw it on switches that you can't access, and it'll actually explode them and uh, push them in and stuff like that. You know, it'll, uh, you know, it'll toggle the switch and stuff like that. So, uh, the shadow bombs in this game are really useful and fun. And not all of them have time limits, which I really like. What's up? Okay, no. Boom. Come on. Oh, God, I hate these guys. These enemies are actually really annoying. Um, what's going on? Uh, what happened? Uh, okay. I don't know what happened there, but something made a loud noise and it scared me. Uh, okay, I guess we just need to go this way. Because there's just a locked door over there. Okay. So, oh, okay, now this this room is kind of annoying. Um, you see this boatman coin? Come down here and get this first. There we go. The mistake that I always made uh, when I played this game, and actually, it was kind of funny, my brother made the exact same mistake when he played through the game, or when he played this part, he hasn't actually finished it, but um, he came in the room, and then it's like, oh, okay, it's over here, let's go this way, and then, here, I'll show you. So he missed getting it, and I also did this. Uh, he missed getting it the first time through, and then it came over here, and then you see it. I was like, oh, well, crap. So then you jump back down, and then you have to do it all over again. Don't do that, because you're actually going to be coming back through this room. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I see what I need to do. Uh, is there anything over here? Or is that for later? I think it's for later. Uh, lock door there. Barrel here. Break it. There we go. So, climb up here. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Is there anything on the other side? Uh, no. Man, that's what I would do. I would have put something on the other side. Especially because it's an early dungeon. You can kind of get away with... Blah. You can have. You can get away with having really easy hidden stuff like that. Okay. So, go over here. Ugh. And I think we can just drop. There we go. Good. Yeah, I'm not climbing all the way down that. All right, grab this. How is this switch connected to anything? Come on. Boom. Yay. Bum, ba -da 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 bum. Oh, and sadly, you don't get the ba -da bum 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 thing from the first game, you know? That sucks. I think, actually, I think you do still get it, but it's only for certain things, like really rare items. All right.
I need to use this more. Here we go. I need to make that, I need to make a habit of using the ghouls more. There we go. Because they really help kind of take the aggro away. That way I've only got to deal with like one enemy. Whoa, that was close. I don't know how he missed me. Ow! Man, there just happen to be coffins everywhere <laughs> for me to rip out of the ground, you know? Man, why do they have to dissolve? I hate that. I really wish they just lasted until they died. Man, that sucks. I know that would be really overpowered, but still. Man. I mean, the thing is, they're not that strong. They're only doing like five damage per hit. They're not doing like anything. But, who knows. Maybe that would be super overpowered and it would make the game completely easy. But you know what? That would be fun. Oh, dungeon map. Okay, cool. So we now have the map. Oh, and in the... In, ooh, what's that? Oh, no. These things are the worst. Go for that thing. Seriously. Oh my god, ghouls, what are you doing? No! Ghouls, help me. Huh. No, no, no. Woo. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, now this is a stalker. Whoop. Yeah, suck it. God, I hate those things. Those are stalkers. Uh, there are many variations of them, and they are all assholes. Okay, calm down. God. Ooh, gauntlets of fire. Hello. So now I have just... <laughs> I have, like, spiky boxing gloves. Awesome. I like that. So, again, that was a stalker. Uh, they're the big... You remember what they look like. They're the giant dog things from the first game. They are assholes. They suck. Like, oh my god, I hate them to death. I hate them to death. So, um... Kill them first. If they're ever fighting something else, kill them first. Kill them first. Oh my god, they suck ass. But yeah, you see what I mean? We were we uh, come back through this room. You jump down here, get the coin, even if you missed it the first time. Blah, blah, blah. And now we're back over here. Okay. Huh. So now we can go over here and open this. All right. I think the dungeons in this game are a lot more extensive than in the than Darksiders 1. So if you liked the dungeons in Darksiders 1, then you're going to like the dungeon, the dungeons in this game even more. And here we have a ball. Let's grab our balls. Whatever. Ball jokes. Whatever. Anyway. So, put the ball in the hole, and it activates the, the stick. <sighs> God. Whatever. See, I'm the, I usually pride myself on not being juvenile and stupid. But, whatever. Anyway, at least I'm not actually laughing at that joke. See, now, it would be a completely different thing if I legitimately thought that that was, like, really funny. But, at least I know. At least I know it's uh, not a funny joke at all. Oh, wow, I actually made it. Cool. Okay. So, I'm over here. Do, do, do. Where are some enemies? It's weird, because it's like, I kind of wish I was just fighting through the whole thing, because the fighting is actually really, really fun in this game. Alright. <laughs> I think I'm in, uh... I think I'm in the volcano area for Monster Hunter 3, because that actually really looks like the volcano for Monster Hunter 3. Or at least that looks like the view of the volcano for Monster Hunter 3. Hey, new scythe! Cool! Not that it's better than my current ones, but... Uh, yeah, you find new scythes... Uh, I don't know how the makers were able to make scythes that, uh, I don't know how the makers were able to make scythes that split into two and then can also be reattached into one giant scythe. I don't know. They're very talented. I thought they created worlds, not 
death weapons. Can I just drop? Okay, good. Because <laughs> when I looked down, I was like, oh crap, is that like black lava? You know, blackened lava? But no, it wasn't. Thank god. Okay. Push that in, it'll unlock that door. So you can. Oh, wait. No, it won't! Oh god, I'm stuck in here! Oh no, I'm not. Uh, do, 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 do. Is there anything in here? Uh, it doesn't look like. Oh! Get out of here. Good. Okay. Oh. Hell do you want? There. Get out of here. Alright, so now, oop, let's go in here. Never, what is in this room again? Oh, great, it's this room. Oh, this one? This room will take you forever the first time you go through it. Guaranteed. It's very annoying. <laughs> Bam. Suck it. Now go away. Any more? Any more? Oh. Oh, I thought that was one. Uh. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Now. Oh, come on. Jeez. What the hell? <laughs> this room will take you forever. So, throw bombs onto yellow crystals and you can blow them up. And, yeah. Those are usually, uh, uh, blocking your path in certain areas. So, your first in um, inclination is to roll this ball into there. Don't do it. Your second one is to roll it, roll it in there. Don't do it. Roll it in here. Okay. Roll it in there. You can get in here normally, but... Oh, also, book of the dead page. Yay. So, uh take this ball, and now start rolling it into the other ones. Here, I'll take it over here. <laughs> Death looks so weird when he's rolling balls. Because he's not even pushing it, you know? It, like, he's... The animation, it barely looks like he's pushing the damn thing, so it just looks really funny and weird. Okay. This one's getting on my nerves, so I'm gonna blow it up. There. Now... If you ever roll a ball into a hole that you don't want to be there, all you gotta do is take a bomb and throw it on the ball and it will blast it out. Uh, there. So, boom! That's how you get uh, bombs out of those holes. I mean, that's how you get the balls out of the holes. There. Yes, ladies, that's how you get balls out of holes. You have to use an explosive device. Stop it. Okay. Yet another key! Da -da -da -da. It'd be funny if they had, like, some evil-sounding version. You know, because, you know, death. <laughs> Not Blink, the tiny green elf man. Well, he's... Well, he's tiny in the other games. You know, the top-down ones. But, whatever. Oh my god, I'm so boring! <sighs> Whatever. Let's keep going. Guys, I've learned to live with my board. Let's go. Okay. If I remember right, this room sucks ass. Or, well, it doesn't It doesn't really suck ass. It's just annoying as hell. Or I had a really annoying time with it. Ooh. What was that? What was that green? Oh, it was a boatman coin in there. Okay, so I'd say, what is it? Okay, well, first off, what you're going to want to do is come over here. And then, uh, wait, is there not a bomb here? Where's the bomb? Or is that for later? Uh, how do I get over there? Where's the, uh, I guess the bomb isn't here, but there's a chest back there and I want it, so I guess I'll have to get it later. I thought I could just go in and grab it, but no. All right, well, um, let's see, what time? Oh, okay, yeah, 19 minutes. So, I'm going to end it off. And next, oh, well, I don't need to pause it. Next time on Darksiders 2, we're going to, uh, here, let's heal. Ding. Uh, next time on Darksiders 2, we're going to, um, uh, pull the switch and see what it does. And then we'll keep going because it's going to raise a thing out of the lava because I bet you never would have guessed it. Okay, bye.